Hello, everybody out there. Listen, I know you can hear me loud and clear right now, and that's a nice, refreshing change from last week where we were just, we were having a mandate on Chrissy's car couch. It's what it is. But it was a good episode. I welcome just, to the History Hyenas. Welcome to the History Hyenas. I'm Chris Stefano, a.k.a. Chrissy in the Closet. With me as always, Giannis. <laughs> Phillips Head Pappas. Phillips Head Pappas. I just want to start off this podcast by saying, for the first time in about six months, yeah. I actually want to be here. Yes! yes! Yeah, that's because you got a nice, stern talking to from about 10 listeners. Yeah, there was a, They just had enough of you. They had enough of me, and there was a kid named Jason. He's an Eastern Hemi from Canada, so he was. He said he's, a, he's, he's one of the only white walking Eastern Hemis you'll ever find. That's what he said, and he told me that he's had enough yeah. of me saying I don't want to be there. It, he said it makes me feel bad about myself. Yeah. That's what he said, and he's a true fan who 100% went in the bathroom and may have reignited Sergio's cocaine habit. Yeah. It's just what it is. As lo que es. As lo que es, Sergio smoked weed and may have done coke with this kid, Jason. It's what it is. Yeah, hopefully his wife's not listening to this. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah Sergio you also, also was about to put $1,000 down on Andy Ruiz, um, and he would have won about $18,000, but his wife talked him out of it, and make no mistake, Sergio was a depressed kid on that flight home. Yeah, but it's a good thing he didn't, because you know, Sergio, any money won uh, would have went to Blizzy. Blizzy. People were just yelling Blizzy at him at the American Comedy Company in San Diego. Yeah, so listen, you also yeah. got a nice stern talking to from my wife via group chat, which I, made me uncomfortable. She said, Chris, stop saying you don't want to be here, and then she made an emoji face with uh, the emoji covering their face well, with their hands. Okay, yes, so I just want to say publicly to our fans base, sorry that I've been saying that. I've had a lot of career stuff going on, and I've also had some problems with the mother. Let's be honest. Let's, it's not really the career stuff. It's the situation with the mother. I've had a situation with the mother. Yeah. But the situation with the mother has been resolved. For a couple months. Well, no, it's permanently resolved. I've just- You killed her? Wei Zhong I need to kill her. <laughs> no, it's okay. I've Can I get a Wei Zhong Jin, please? I, it's Wei Zhong Shin. Oh, oh we don't got the button? We're I'm up. loading it up. All right, load up. up. Uh, the you know what, Zach, with the mother. Let me just say, when yeah. I walked in, Zach said, you wouldn't believe how many buttons I have ready to go. Yeah. And now it, he just gave us a verbal all, way charge it. All fucked up. I'm so, I had so many, now I'm fucked up. Yeah. So... The situation with the mother yeah. has been resolved. I've accepted the fact that um, you know we the, we're a co-parenting unit. Yeah, uh, she's got an, a, another guy now, and it's just all accepted. But I was dealing with that. I thought I was just over it, but the truth of the situation is, I wasn't. That's why I was just banging toots because it was just a large hole that was gaping. But now it's closed up. Now I'm sealed up. Now I got my butt sealed up, and I'm ready for some guys. Let's spin the wheel. Yeah, listen, uh, I've had a, I've had. There's something about you I've had enough of. What's that? I've really had enough of one thing. Well, um, and I'm, let me explain to you what it is. Okay. You dressing every day, all day, like you're a fucking professional boxer. Yeah. If I see you wear that spin F8 shirt for another day consecutively, yeah. I'm going to take you outside and do a few things to you physically, or I'm going to attempt to because I'm not going to be able to because you can throw hands now. Yeah, I'll just fucking rip, I'll rip off your other bicep. Yeah, because I'll rip shoot. Bicep. I'm a Greek kid, I'm going to shoot for the body. Yeah, it's what it is. I'm going to grab a hold of that butt and take you into, and push you into the trash. Speaking of Greek kids, we, we've we got another one here. We got another Greek in. What's her name? Venetia Malkalopis? <laughs> no, it's Venetia. Venetia has come. Now, if we were ever to get married, would you change your name to Vivian for Listen, me? Listen, oh, Vivian no. DiStefano? No, that, no, no. I would keep my last name. Here. Yeah. I have to keep my last name, Jerisimopoulos. Yeah. You Jerisimop Greek. Yeah. That's Greek. Yeah. That's Greek. That Jerisimopoulos is a, is a nice last name. It is, and it's the perfect way to start what I want to talk about, yeah. just so you can be CC about something. Yeah. Whatever Greek girls are around on this planet, okay, they... I mean, how do I put this? Their parents would rather them start doing crystal meth right. in parking lots of Applebee's yeah. throughout America yeah. than be seen in your presence. So if I came home, if I if, if she brought me home one day and I said, hi, Mr. It's Joplin never going to happen. Yeah. Um, I See am, her nodding? She's going, I'm, yeah. I'm your, I'm your daughter's new boyfriend. I have a baby with a Puerto Rican girl with a two in her tit. Would, he would honor kill her. He would honor kill, kill me? Her. Yeah, he what? would kill, honor kill her, and then you would be killed, yeah. And then I'd, I'd be killed. Okay. Yeah, but okay. he, would, he would take it out on her because it's just what it is. The daughter's got a raw deal. If you're Greek, you got a raw deal. Yeah, you just you have to marry Greek. Do you have a brother who's out there banging everybody? I have two brothers. Two brothers, that, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. actually what's that's happening. That's how it goes, yeah. But uh, in my family, I'm very much so encouraged just to date Greek guys. Yes. And um, that's, I have to bring them home. I can't date anybody else. Yeah. I get it. it. I yeah. get it. That's it's it. like when you go boxing, you think that you're, you know, your dad uh, knows you're at boxing and like, 
He's like, he asked you about it, Sergio, good guy and all that. But the, the truth is he's installed a camera in that boxing gym. Oh, so yeah, they yeah. asked me, like, who did you see today? What's going on? Yeah. Are you dating anybody? Okay, right. are they Greek? Yeah. Right. Or usually it's all about going to those, like, Greek events yeah. over here, uh -huh. yeah. which I usually, I don't do that. That, But that's, like, huge in the Greek-American community. Yeah, right. Like here, it's crazy, actually, here. Um, if you're dating the Greek-American community, you're... It's going well. Within six months, they're probably married. But yep. like in Greece, like right. they'll date for like a few years and yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you you went to hunt. You went to Hunter College here, and you're from New York. You went to Hunter College, and a lot of people go, "Oh, she must have wanted to go to Hunter." No, it was probably because your dad said, "You know what? You're going to go to college and then come home at night." Yeah, she was like, "I want to go to Arizona." He's like, "That's fine as long as you fly home every night." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. what it is. It's what it is. They just now, yeah, if you're a Greek daughter, you just gotta live into the house till you're forty five. Now Venetia yeah. is she's joined the podcast to help us with a lot of the organization stuff yeah. and she's to, to really just help this podcast because listen, we know where the history of hyenas and we know you guys like when we act like hyenas, but it's getting a little wild. It's now. getting a little out I mean, of hand. We went off the fucking rails and we just needed a woman to get in here and clean this shit up. Yeah. It's what yeah. we needed. And Yanni found a nice Greek woman, um, because it's just what it is and I think she she's found a, us. And, oh yeah, she found us and I'm she's the perfect fit. Yeah. Because she knows Sergio. Yeah. She knows Sergio. She throws hands at Sergio at Overthrow Gym. Shout out Overthrow for, um, I, I gave you, I uh, we shout out Overthrow for um, allowing me to film uh, the Comedy Central Mountain Dew big, highly budgeted commercial. I'll give you guys a lot of publicity and not giving me any free t-shirts. Shout out Overthrow for that. Yeah, for you still making me pay, pay full price for your fucking $75 t-shirts, even though I fucking gifted you guys about 30 k on the arm. Yeah, give him a few fucking free shirts, because make no mistake, he's going to wear them every day. I'm just going to wear them every day. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt right now, and it's 80 degrees, because I'm just i ready to go full muzzy and look like a boxer. Because you've been wearing that shirt or an Overthrow boxing shirt for the last month every day. Well, the truth is, is I got three of these Spin F8 shirts. Yeah. And I got two t-shirts. And a situation with the mother. And a situation with the mother. And the mother actually works at Spin F8, so it's a real big situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just what it is. Because if your life was Ghostbusters, you would cross the streams all the time with the mother. With the mother. Yeah. Because yeah. in many ways... It's just what I like to do. There has to just be a little bit of chaos on the horizon or the kid's not comfy wumpy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> comfy wumpy, huh? Yeah. Because I feel like you wake up and you just do this with the wheel and you spin it. I spin it because make no mistake, Sergio, yeah. as my witness, San Diego, the wheel was a spinning. Yeah. I, I spun that fucking wheel down on Broadway in the gas lamp district where kind of anything goes. Gas lamp district, San Diego, anything goes. Yeah. I may have walked into a lady boy show. I may have, you know, had a couple of toots in the hotel room. I may have done crack. I don't know. The wheel was spun. <laughs> yeah. Anything goes. Yeah. Well, you know, when you started to say San Diego, like, Often, I just get scared that you're going to stop mid mid word. Yeah. Because it starts with a sand. Yeah. Thank God you finished it with Iego. Yeah. Sandy, which is. Just like the, the other episode when you said Jap, you, you, you said Jap, but you kept going and said Anise, which Anise. I was thankful for. Speaking of Sandy, Iego, yeah. Yeah. Um, go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. We have brand new segments up there called Ladder 14. We yeah. met two firefighters that we started a podcast with, um, uh, Patty Mel Rooney and. And Sean Terry. We talked about it last week a little bit. We teased yeah. it a little bit, but, you know, with, with, with these two guys who started a podcast called Ladder 14, uh, these yeah. two guys. Uh, uh, who's your daughter, and your mother and your daughter? What are their names? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, pa Patrick Melrooney, he just uploaded his first episode yeah, so did uh, Sean the Terry. other day. And, uh, and his daughter, uh, Colleen Jr., was in. I got my wife's Colleen Sr., my daughter's Colleen Jr. Yeah, he's got a kid. His name Colleen Jr. So it's mo the yeah. mother's Colleen and the daughter's Colleen Jr. And that's Ladder 14, only on Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Because make no mistake, listen to me fucking loud and clear right now. Uh oh, CC. Let me be CC right now. Yeah. Okay, we number one, we have Zach Isis has got a laptop on the way, so Tattoo Fingers won't have to take the train eight stops just to upload a, a fucking podcast. Yeah, Mike Mush is Mike Mush um, is he's breathing fucking heavy, focused, breathing heavy. He hasn't been able to pay his rent, so he's fucking. He needs that hundred bucks. Yeah. Now we've brought in Venetia, a yeah. Greek goddess who's got a father that will honor kill her if she brings anybody home that looks like me, who's fucking watching this podcast like a hawk. Yeah. She's watching this podcast like her father's watching her when she walks outside. Yeah. So nothing's going to get by her. No. Nothing. There will be nothing. This, po this podcast is going to get so organized and so on point that you're just going to have to sit back, give us your money, because yeah. we're screwed in kids, and everything that we say we're going to do on this podcast will be given to you. So go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys for all the fun stuff. 
stuff and just really just be a part of this fucking podcast as we skyrocket. Because make no mistake, we're taking this thing to the next level. We're going to get to 25,000 Patreon members and we're going to buy a condo in Israel. We're screwed in. Yeah. <laughs> That was a good one, Zach. Yeah, yeah Zach, we just need you on this because you're talented with the buttons. Yeah, because make no mistake, Zach, is there a way we could put on a light fan? Because I wore a long sleeve shirt and sweatpants and it's 90 <laughs> degrees in here. <laughs> Here's the situation. Isn't it funny? Well, once we brought her in today, these guys really straightened up, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah they're like, yeah. Uh, you know, like we got a list. Yeah. Here's Mike's what's put gonna... his headphones on. He's not even fucking listening. Yeah, to these guys are really getting screwed in. They're trying to get screwed in, but at the end of the day, we are produced by Franks and Beans. Yeah, and we need, we just need a woman to help us out. No, seriously, like. Look at my apartment, yeah. right? It's a beautiful apartment. It's got a lot of natty you got new, And you have some new stools. I got some new stools. Yeah. But it needs a woman's touch. I mean, without yeah. a woman in your life, you, it just falls into chaos. You got a nice place. You got a lot of nice things. But Brittany does a lot of it. So we need Venetia in here to kind of be our comedy wife. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She's got she's the inaugural first lady hyena. She is, and she's she can also fucking so throw hands. Jen Bagakis. It's over, Jen. You're out. You're, you're the number two Greek. Even though you wrote on my Instagram, uh, snack, you I posted a picture, she wrote snack, and I said, Don't fucking do that, Bagakis. Because you'll get cracked open and cleaned, cleaned out. out. And then you yeah. can smoke a cigarette in the hallway and lie about your age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way zone shit. Yeah. Way zone shit. Way zone shit. Way zone shit. Yeah. No. It's you good. gotta have the if because if there's one button you need to have, it's the way zone shit button. Right, yeah. yeah. And right. you know it's good to have, uh, it's good to have uh, Venetia here. Venetia. It's Venetia. 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 Is that Greek? Venetia. It means uh, Venice in Greek. Venetia. Can Venetia. we just call you V? Yeah, you no, I like me. Venetia. Why Venetia. you can't remember Venetia? Venetia. 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 A lot of my friends as joke we call, uh, call me Venetia because of the way it's spelled. Right, yeah. Venetia. No one and can ever say that. It's good to have Venetia in here. And V's going to be. She's going to be. She may not be on the mic all the time. If she, she wants to be, she can be. No, of course, she could come whenever she wants. She wants but no, she's yeah. going to be. She's she's going to do. Are you do you are you planning on coming in the studio every week? Or are you going to do these things from the comfort of your own home? What what are we thinking? We um, haven't. You know, you, it is summertime, so like, let's talk and whatnot. Yeah. But I'm down to come in and yeah. like see how you yeah. guys are, record, you know, get yeah. some content. And I like it when she's here because like it keeps these guys in their toes. Keep, yeah, and even me, like, yeah. you know, like how we always start out like bad. I'm already breathing heavy, and I'm already saying like, I don't, I can't be on the podcast anymore after only 12 minutes in. Yeah. But the energy is, it's calm around a woman. It's calmer, and yeah, for you, it's like, it's nice. It's like, um, how would I say this? Let's say if we had like a bear in here, right? Yeah. And you wanted the bear to do certain things, like yeah. tricks. You would hold up a treat for the bear. Yeah. So she's a, like a treat that you you could never get because yeah. her father will kill well, you. Well, that's interesting. It's interesting she's, you say she's that because she's a very beautiful girl. But yeah. the the crack open clean out button in my head is just off because yeah. it's saying that's not you can't. This is, it's like it a just, family. You can't do it. You don't understand. Yeah. Like it just will never happen. But I'm saying it's not like it's having that reverse trick where it's like oh I want to do it more. It's no. like it's 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 I see the beauty, but it's just like exactly. you know it's like I a, just yeah. it's like if you were a bear and I was holding up a salmon, yeah. then the then the bear you know yeah. I, we just got it because you're a kid who's got a yeah your attention spans all over the place. So we got her in here, and it's just a piece of salmon to yeah. keep Chrissy on. Uh, you know, yeah. Chrissy's here. Omega threes. Yeah, yeah, I got just a better keep you chance yeah. again. Cracked open and cleaned out by Mike Emoji Face. <laughs> and make his face look like that. Yeah, make his face look like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you know, because around women, you get a little peppier because it's it's because it's it's yeah, it's a meal. It's a meal. Yeah, it's a meal. Yeah, but, but Greek make girls, no mistake, I'm not hungry because I got my carrots and my hummus. Yeah, because I love how you're obsessed with health now, and you're really healthy, kid. You're looking slim, but the only danger of that, like I said, outside is. If you don't do chest, if you don't do any bench press, you're gonna look like a lollipop because you got a big fucking head. But I sent you that pic of me. I, I look, I look like I'm starting to get a little bicep. No, because you're a cute fucking kid. When you said that, my dick went pewing. Pewing. I laughed out loud. Hard. <laughs> did it look cute? Did it, did it look? Because like I told you, I went pewing. Yeah, I so did go pewing. To get, I may post that pic if we get to uh, a thousand Patreon members. I'll post that pic. I tell you what, I posted this video on the Instagram where I was I was singing Counting Crows in the car, and a lot of people complimented my bicep. Yeah, a lot of people were saying, Yanni, we didn't know your arm was that jacked. And I said, listen, make no mistake. Yeah. Chrissy's a kid that can throw hands. I'm a biter. Yeah. I'll get a hold of you and I'll bite. Yeah, you'll bite. Yeah. Or I'll kick you from the stage. Ooh, IFF. Yeah, here's the... With well, a big bite. Finally, the fucking sound effects are uploaded halfway through the podcast. <laughs> yeah. You guys were sitting in here for an hour and a half and Zach goes, I got to upload them after we started the podcast. Just a reminder, patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys for Ladder 14 podcast. It's it's a real treat. Yeah, you go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Listen, we've lost a Let's just be CC with yeah, the people. Let's, yeah, we've, we've lost a few toots. We're, we're a few non-toots. We're losing blood at this point. Yeah, we're starting to get... Yeah, it's kind of like what happened was... Here's, yeah. let, me, let, me, let me just put it into terms in the way that I can understand it. 
and you guys can understand it. It's kind of like when Hitler decided. Why does it have to be a Hitler <laughs> example? <laughs> Because if you come in here to the winter in a full uniform, I'm yeah. pu- I'm checking in myself. It's just what it is. Because yeah. it's I got an appointment at Hugo Boss tomorrow to get a suit for yeah. Colin Quinn's wedding. Because make no mistake, yeah. I like a little Hugo Boss. You know why? <laughs> is is his po- is his uh, is his wedding going to be um, in Park Slope? His wedding's no, it's actually it is in Brooklyn now. I can't it's, say it, publicly where it is, but it is in Brooklyn. Is oh. it at the Grand Canyon Diner? Because it's been there probably since he was a child. Grand Canyon Diner, shout out. They got a nice sandwich, the Grand Canyon sandwich, which is uh, avocado, eggs, and chipotle mayo on yeah, a biscuit. He's from he's from fucking Park Slope. He's from Park Slope, kid. But right and left, fucking stupid, fucking what, shit. Fucking what happened was is when Hitler decided to invade Russia, he yeah. got he got a little crazy, and then he lost the war and he lost his army. He got a little ambitious, and that's what's happened with us. Yeah, we got a little ambitious, and we started saying, you know what, you guys are fans of our. Show. Show. Um, I'm sorry for the printer noise in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's a history hyenas. Mike Emoji's got a paper due at a community college he's yeah. taking. Emoji, yeah, he's, I don't know what, he's printing out fucking flyers for Bobby Kelly probably. Yeah. So, um, so we got a little ambitious and we stopped giving uh, the fans, you guys who have made this podcast what it is, we stop giving you what you want and most importantly what you deserve. Yeah. But make no mistake, the Nazi army has been defeated. Yeah. And we were defeated. And I just had to I just had to wake up one day, look myself in the mirror, uh, kill Ava Braun, aka the situation with my mother, and <laughs> And just say you're not Adolf Hitler anymore. Yeah. Now you you got demoted. You're gonna hide yourself, and you're gonna go to Argentina. And you're gonna start a new life, and you're gonna live to your 80s and 90s. The Fuhrer lives on. Um, <laughs> Wei well, Shang Shi. Yeah. That yeah, example just went way off the yeah, rails. Uh, Wei Shang Shi. Yeah. I'm just kidding with everything. But yeah. the point is that I'm trying to say is that I'm not a Nazi, but I like the uniforms, and and we're. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to give you guys what you deserve on patreon.com slash voice. We fucking promise. And if you're new to this podcast, keep listening. And if you invest in if you like what you're hearing, let's do a couple episodes and then go to patreon.com slash Boys because we're truly going to give you guys what you deserve now over there. So yeah, we appreci- thank you for your service. You guys have been our foundation. We've gotten to this point and now we're going to kick it up a notch. We got carrot sticks here. Yeah. All right. We got we got an intern. We got Mike, Mike, Mike Emoji is going to get Everyone's getting in shape right now. Everyone's getting in shape. Yeah. Um, we got a culturally diverse podcast, and we have a woman. It's yeah. very 2019. I fucking love it. Did you like our uh, Battle of Creed episode because you're Cretan? I did. I yeah. did. I actually really like the. I was just listening to the episode of the divorce one where you were just like responding to your uh, your fans and stuff. I was laughing a lot at yeah. that yeah. one. But yeah, the history of Crete that was a really good episode. Yeah. Which my side? Fa- of, which side of your family is from Crete? Um, my grandmother, my father's mom is from Crete, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's from Hanya, all the uh-huh. way up in the north of Crete. It's gorgeous over there. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Love it. Have you been to Hanya? I've been to Crete a few times. Yeah. No, he doesn't speak Greek. That's no. the problem. I know. With I was speaking Greek to him, like the mekatalave. He was. He didn't understand he me. Yeah. I'm a little stupid. That's He's a little bit Frank okay. yeah. I can teach you guys some Greek. You know. Yeah. That would be very nice. That'd be cool. I yeah. want to learn it. I want to yeah. figure out a way to learn it. It's well, very you, hard. I was just there for four years, and I still. Well, I was working in English environments, but like still, it's a really difficult language. Just like yeah. the conjugations themselves, mad. Difficult. How did you find us, our podcast? Um, actually through Sergio. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. There's, Sergio, I came to visit, yeah. and then he was like telling me, he's like, "Oh, you're Greek. Oh, I have like my friend Yanni Papas," and then I like started seeing your Instagram and seeing you promote this and. You know, when I was away, I just felt like I was still in New York. I just tuned into you guys, and I was just—that's like, awesome. It was cool. I felt yeah. like I was home. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, my prediction is she's going to be a big help. We we love hundred percent. And okay. how long do you think pressure. it's going to take before she also asks for money? <laughs> yeah. Well, she if if she she probably fucking deserves it. Yeah, she'll deserve it. Yeah. You know what? I, we're just going to have to take less of a profit for a little while so we can get this thing fucking running. Yeah, we're just going to have to pay everyone in this room. We're paying these franks and beans now, right? Yeah, we're just going to have to pay everyone in this room a hundred bucks and just not make any money. <laughs> it's just what it is. We're just going to have to give about 300 a week away yeah. and just fucking deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're doing good. Anyway. We're doing, yeah, we're doing well, so it's it's okay. Um. So today, yeah. Well, we got shirts now. We do oh, have shirts now. Yeah. And where can we get those, Mike? On the volley. On the volley.com? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Do, do and we, the link to that is where? Do we have our own site there yet? <laughs> uh, I posted it, I think, right? Uh, we put it on Patreon also. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll put it on the screen for everyone to see. Yeah, yeah. and go to uh, our YouTube, youtube.com slash history hyenas, right? Um, uh, Bay Ridge Boys. Yeah. We got all that going on. We'll put everything on the, on the screen for that. Uh, you have Teespring t- uh, t shirts, uh, stickers, uh, 
cups, things like that. A lot of stuff you can it's get. It's all now. coming. Mike made that. Stuff. Thank you to you, Mike. Thank you so much, Mike. Yeah, so Mike, get... you're, a, you're a talented kid. You can do a lot of things. I can do a lot of things pretty good. Yeah. 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 We just got to <laughs> wrestle you away from Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just what it good is. Good luck. Because yeah. you know what, Bobby? What, what happens is you, you guys have a lot more fun here because we don't yell at you. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're just, yeah, we're, I, we're, I, we're never. All right, 9th Street Auto Collision, 133 West Hills Road, Huntington Station, New York, 11746. That's the fucking zip code. You know what it is. Long Island needs a zip code. Give them a call, 631-351-5300. They're family business. They've been doing it 20 years. They do great body work, and they give everyone a deal. They work with all insurance companies, and they do towing. That's 9th Street Auto Collision. If your car gets cracked open... These guys will clean it out. Yeah. 9th Street Auto Collision. And let's be honest, it's really just for people out in the island because nobody else is going out in the island. Yeah, yeah. And they're, they're mafia guys. It's what it is. It's what it is. All right. We're also brought to you by CBD Script, which is a premium CBD company owned and manufactured by Silver Laboratories. These guys, look, let's just be crystal clear. They do CBD oil. It's what it is. So I'm just going to give you their website, and you just go fucking check it out. What is it? CBDscript.com. So go to CBDscript. That's C-B-D-S-C-R-I-P.com. Promo code Hyenas15. Yeah. To get 15% off your total order. And it's just CBD oil is good for everything. And CBD is good for everything from anxiety to autism. Some of you kids are Franks and Beans. Yeah. It's also good with a situation with the mother, so you can rub it on that. Yeah. Never do that. I, we're comfortable around you. Yeah. It's I'm fine. not on camera. Camera, but I'm answering your question. Yeah. <laughs> so on the volley.com is where they need to go. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do they have slash history hyenas or anything like that? Uh, let me get back to you on that. Okay. Let's get back to us on that. Um, I'm going to take a picture of that food and just send it to Bobby just because I want to start some shit. Well, no, it's not Bobby. It's, it's Nuchum. Oh, no, which I'm, and I mean in Chumas, so he's uh, he's probably okay with that because I mean they're Chumas. Yeah, but let's be honest. You're a German kid. He'll let you get but away no, with it's it. Just, it's just what the revelation I've had is, and I've said this again, but it's just, you know, it's just... The thing is, th the, I'm done with the cucks. I'm just done with it. Yeah. You know, I'm 6'1", 220. I throw hands. And now I throw hands fast and I throw them hard. Yeah. So the th I'm just not going to let anybody tell me. If, they, if, they're, if they're within reason and they're doing the right thing. I'm a kid. If I make a mistake, 100%. Yeah. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I have no problem admitting wrong. Yeah. But there's a lot of people now that just want to attack. They just want to attack white guys. And the thing is... I'm sorry I'm fucking 6'1", and I look a little Aryan, and I could throw hands. I'm sorry that offends you, but guess what? If you get in my fucking way, I'm going to hit you with a left hook and knock your ass out like fucking Andy Ruiz knocked out Anthony Joshua. It's just what it is. I've kind of had enough. The cookie has crumbled into a kid that throws fucking hands. <laughs> that. Because Anthony Joshua got beat up by a kid that looks like he just got back from an all-inclusive in Cancun. Yeah, I mean, that kid, the Sergio. He called it. Yeah, by the way, real quick, the fact that you and I don't have any of our own merchandise is a problem. I mean, we're so dumb. Yeah. We are so unorganized and idiot. The fact that we even still have a podcast going that's doing relatively well is it is just a credit to, I don't know what it, Jesus. It's Jesus, cousin. I, th I think it's Lynn. I got to yeah. say, I think your mother put a prayer in for us, and I think she's searching for the podcast, and I think it's just a matter of time before she stumbles on a, one of our episodes. Yeah, because I, I downloaded a podcast. You gave her Stitcher, and I don't know why you I did that. I gave her Stitcher, and I told her only listen to my podcast on Comedy Central, Stand Up with Chris Stefano, um, because I don't. it's just very corporate. And I, it's just me reading sponsors and fucking yelling and just you know being like, why people suck, and then listen. Playing clips from Aparna. Do you talk like that yeah. on this? Like, hey, what's up? It's yeah, I'm Chris like, hey, Stefano. yeah, awesome. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chris Stefano. Hi. Just, we're gonna do another clip from Eugene Merman, uh, circa 1994. Funniest guy ever. Yeah. And then, yeah, we. So I have to do stuff like that. Just very, you know, just like whatever. I'm just, I have to be beta, yeah. and that's okay. Um, but so I can't let her listen to this because I have publicly said I got blows from my cousin. So. And uh, yeah, it's just I've missed these so much, Zach. Yeah, where, where have they been? I put them on this app that every now and then just like bugs out and deletes it, and then I have to re find them. All right, yeah, we got an episode on our YouTube uh, with Jim Gaffigan up that's going that's doing well. Oh, go to our YouTube. We're starting to put up. Uh, we, they put up, we put them up a little later, but you will get the goods. You'll get to see the whole yeah. episode. Now, let me ask you a question. This weekend, yeah. did, you, did you spin the wheel a little bit? What'd you do this weekend? Were you uh, this weekend? Let me see. Cracked open, cleaned out my wife. She's getting cracked open. Now, is she getting cracked open for procreation? Or has that not happened yet? No, no. Oh uh, well, you know, yeah. Whenever she, you know. It's, not it's up to her. Yeah, it's up to her. She when yeah. she's ready. She's ready. 
Yeah, but yeah. she's getting clean. I just What's don't know what I'm going to get yelled at for saying on the podcast. Yeah, well, she's and got now, family and now, members that listen. She listens. Yeah. Unfortunately, now too, I don't know what I'm going to get yelled at by your wife from exactly. on the podcast either. So I'm. She all, hit you early in the morning I'm too. Also in the fucking. I'm also in the danger zone with your wife. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. Like I woke. It was like eight twenty two a.m. She yeah. must have just been walking to the train listening to it. Yeah, and she just it just made her furious, and she just texted Chris, "Stop saying you don't want to be there." Yeah, and I was like, "I'm sorry, Mrs. Pappas." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I uh, we, we we were looking for houses this week. I went to Westchester. Wow, you went out to Westchester. I went out to Westchester to see like if that maybe we could put someone could put me there. Wow, so I, was yeah. look, I was trying to look at these houses to see if there was any barbecues going on because I was just going to sneak in there yeah. and just pretend like I was invited. Now the only issue you're going to have is if you move to Westchester because we've already spoken about publicly how you'll most likely move Hebert into your apartment in Westchester. But Hebert. he did. But he also did tell us if he doesn't have um. If he doesn't have a permanent warm-up job by the time he's 50... No, 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 Chris. No, Chris. No, Chris. <laughs> Chris, no. Okay, Chris, okay. no. Okay. Oh, uh, Hebert. <laughs> Say it. I'll cackle it out. No, no, no. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, I, okay, I mean, Chris, come on. I mean, uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, Hebert. Yeah. Let me just explain to the, the people. Problem, yeah. you know, the problem, I, you know, the problem you're going to have... You're on the floor. No, floor. no. <laughs> Oh, uh, Hebert. <laughs> yeah, it's a little high up is what you're saying? Yeah, so you just have a problem. You may have a situation with, with the Hebert, mother. With the, with the Hebert. Here's the deal. Like, yeah, when we the, name this podcast. Uh, Hebert. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We can't do it. At, we, that's the last one. We've reached our own Hebert time limit. Because you know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's funny? What have we been doing this in a year now? We've been doing it about uh, yeah, 56 weeks. When we... I mean, Ice has got a whole bunch of yeah. tricks up his sleeve yeah, right here. Yeah, I don't here. know what that one was, but I like yeah. that. Yeah, we brought in, uh, we brought in Vit. Vin Venetia. 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 Lady V. Because we got to just remember the name. Venetia. Which I'll means Venice. Venetia V. He called me V-Dog before. Yeah. V-Dog. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> v. V is for Vendetta. V is for Vendetta. Good movie. Yeah. Or V is for P. Yeah, V is for your peace. I can't say it. he's got to say it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, V is for your peace that I'm not going to even attempt to crack open and clean out. Yeah, you know yeah. all our lingo, too. So he couldn't, yeah. like, if he said something, you'd be like, I know exactly what, what you're saying. saying. Yeah. yeah. I can yeah. see through it. Yeah. It's my, great. My dad probably wouldn't understand, but, like, he would you, figure it out and then he'd, you'd be dead. Yeah. he'd throw hands with you. He yeah, and he would beat, he'd beat my fucking ass, probably. Or, yeah, he yeah. definitely would. And, and I have also two brothers, so, yeah. like, a yeah. whole army coming at you. Coming at me. Are they older brothers, too? I'm the middle child, so younger uh, yeah. and older. Yeah. yeah. Do they throw hands, the brothers, or are they like up uh, west side kids? One or? does, the yeah. other one. Uh, he's. They're both very athletic. They. They're. Could you take? Could they, they take? Would beat my the ass. two of them could take him. The thing is, yeah. when if yeah, if you're talking to their sister, like an extra strength comes out of them. Sure. That's like yeah. uh yeah, it's like a Greek. It's called Greek adrenaline, where yeah. they're just like the daughter is unaccounted for, or yeah. the sister is unaccounted for, yeah. and she needs to be accounted for. Yeah. So yeah. did your yaya live in your house as well? Uh, no, she didn't. She lived in Astoria. So every yeah. weekend we go to Yaya's house, you know, have the, the whole family over each weekend all the time. No, no reason. So you were thinking. raised in the Upper West Side. I yeah. raised in the Upper West Side weekends at Yaya's yeah. house in Astoria. Yeah, I'm a city That's why kid. she came in with a blazer. That's an Upper West Side kid. She's, oh, she's, 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 she's a New York she's, City kid. She's a very well-dressed human being. And that's, that's like Andrew Schultz kind of, right? Top of the top New of the York, line. New York City kids are the coolest kids on the planet. Yeah, they she's got a very cool look. Yeah, they set the trend yeah. for the rest of the world. Now, am I going to have to correspond with your dad and your brothers to say you're here, when you're leaving, how you're getting home, things like that? Because they're going to. I'm the Greek, so they would try. Are they? Are they okay with me? I think. Well, if I just say like I'm hanging out with someone who's Greek, they're like, I don't even That's care fine. who they yeah. are. Like, you know, yeah. maybe yeah. tell me. I probably know their family. Yeah. Well, you can tell, you can tell your dad ancestry.com. I am. Uh, we have this confirmed eight percent Greek. Oh. Okay. No. So are you? Yeah. Remember, we confirmed that. No. It was eight percent. But yeah, for your dad, yeah, it was Greek. Yeah, it was he's a Greek, Greek kid. Yeah, he's a yeah. Greek kid. Yeah. If you guys fell in love, I would. I would co-sign that. <laughs> I'd be like, I don't know how he got this look. You know? Yeah, I know. Yeah, he looks like the Ubermensch. I, I mean, know that, yeah. but <sighs> he looks like a child. Of... I look like yeah. Was... You and Jen Bacakis look like yeah. If, yeah. if you were Greek like her, because she looks like she yeah yeah. She looks this like... is what the Greeks look like. She looked. She she looks to me. You look Cretan. Oh really? Yeah, you look like my mom. Like when she was young. Oh. I'll pull up a pic. I'll show you. Yeah. I definitely have got. I'm. I look more like my Yiga, who's from Sparta. Yeah. So yeah. Let's yeah. be honest. We're all inbred Greeks. Yeah. That's if we're true. from islands, we, we, a few of our cousins have given blowies. Yeah, it's what it is. Yeah. When you come from a yeah. Greek village, there is going to be a little, a little yeah. incest. But she doesn't look. She looks doesn't look 
inbred at all. She looks like she's maybe like her family was like the top one and then there was inbreeding going down, but she didn't get it. Because your eyes are too close together. We've spoken about that. <laughs> yeah. That you're you're a little bit down. You, you're inbred. I have, a, I have a touch of the downs. Yeah, because the <laughs> eyes are just too close. I know. And that's why glasses help, right? Because they frame the eyes and separate them a little bit. Yeah. Wait, let me find this, this comment. First then, of all, whoever came up with Yanni Phillips head is, is a 10. It made me laugh out loud. Yeah, and then somebody said the guy who posted that cuties and smoothies video, his eyes are too far apart and that's your arch nemesis yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what somebody I, said about that kid and i laughed, yeah, he's I laughed our, real hard he's our sponsor to that kid he's yeah a, he's a jack he's kid. a nutrition kid he somebody else also said that if you took that kid and me you would get a kid with normal uh part oh, between the eyes yeah yeah, yeah. it's funny but this other kid also said something to me about how i gotta find it it's a comment about how my eyes being so close together produce produce my comedic genius it was a funny uh, yeah talk to venetia for a second well because well the thing is because if your eyes were normal then you wouldn't have went into comedy because you would <laughs> because you would have been just handsome and you you know what i mean because we, yeah. we talk about you're all you're you're handsome enough and you're almost really handsome but because the eyes are too close together you had to use more skills for women 100 percent. yeah 100 yeah. yeah yeah i would yeah i think the reason why i'm more of a humble kid is because i know for me to be a good looking kid, it's a lot of things have to be going right. Yeah. Like you just wake up and you do like that and you got your little yeah, Christopher but, Reeve curl and you're ready to go. But I learned how to talk to women because it's a big problem if, you know, because my, my family can sniff out homosexuality and I'm a homo. So I had to, in order to push it down, I learned how to talk to girls. So you think that that, you think your uncle was detected very early by Janet and Lynn? Yeah, I think he got to, I think, yeah, my, my uh, uncle, Janet Uncle Russell, um, who's judging a cat show right now in Switzerland. Do you know uh, how funny that is that your uncle is a cat judge? He's a cat judge. Yeah. And, uh, and, and he, you know, he always sends me messages that he's very proud of me and my skits. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, so, um, you know, but if I was still on the island of Crete, I would be a handsome fucking kid. You'd be a handsome kid. Well, yeah. you're, I'm telling you, cuz even though you haven't worked out or you've been saying that you, you know, you're, 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 uh, you don't feel good about yourself, you look good. Yeah. You still look good. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. It's what it is. Yeah. Mike, you all right? Yeah. All right. I just heard, I just heard some heavy breathing. Yeah. We'll just, we'll be CC with the people. We were gonna, we were gonna talk about something today. We were going to talk about... Um, but we, we decided today's just going to be called We're Getting Organized. Yeah, we're getting or, get yeah. organized as wild. What were we going to talk about? What were we going to talk about? Hijabs? No, I, that's what I've been talking about on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I got a message from Mo Amir. He's going to he's gonna explain the whole thing to oh, me. So he's, is he going to come on the podcast and do it? Should we get him on? Yeah, get Can him on. Can you ask him? He yeah, said Mo Amir's to, a good friend of mine. Yeah, he's a good friend. And he said, uh, this requires a longer form conversation versus white people in comments giving you the lowdown on the hijab. He said, enjoy the comments, though. But I said, love to hear it anytime. I would love to. No, so it. let Mo. Mo is a f very, very close personal friend. So I know. Him. Let's get him on, and maybe we can do like a history of um, of the Muzzies of the what is it the uh, the old, it's b before recorded history BC. No, no, remember said it's the it's the truth because it's before recorded history. Oh, 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 oh. The, um, he said that uh, the Prophet Muhammad is the only. Is the only voice that matters because he's the only one who existed in recorded history. Yeah, so it makes sense before to recorded history. No, in recorded history. In recorded in history. In recorded history. Everybody else is before recorded history. He's saying Prophet Muhammad was actually recorded, so he's got to be for realsies. So that's why that doesn't make sense. That's though, why the Muslim faith is the only is the only one true thing because Prophet Muhammad. That's what he said. But he's after Jesus, Muhammad. I yeah I I, I don't think they necessarily see Jesus as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Wei Song Xian. Yeah. Wei Song Xian. Wei Song Xian. If you want to hear it, if you want to hear our true thoughts about uh, the nation is uh, of Islam, just go to uh, our good friend Brian Terry and, uh, no. and, and, and podcast Ladder Fourteen. They'll tell you that we're at war with that religion. No, Sean Terry and Patty Mulroney. <laughs> Sean, Sean, Sean Terry, yeah. Sean Terry, Patty Mulroney, Ladder Fourteen podcast. Um, go to patreoncom slash Boys. Um, Patrick Mulroney yeah. told me to remind you guys that it's been four. 4,674 days since 9-11. So, <laughs> so let me to re remind you guys. He yeah, counts, he's got to count. Every day counts the days after 9-11 because that was an attack on a fucking
nation. And Sean Terry wants to remind everybody that Trump 2020. Yeah, it's just what it is. Yeah. Trump 2020. And, uh, and uh, yeah, if you don't want to fix it or build a wall, then you go down there and guard the wall. Yeah, it's then what it is. Then you go down and guard it. Yeah. That's what Sean Terry wants you to yeah, know. you go down there and guard it. You guard it then. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, he volunteers his time to go down there and guard that wall. Yeah, and also yeah. he's got no problem with trans kids in the military. If you pick up a gun and fight for this country, it's not a problem. I've, I, I only have a problem because I have a friend uh, who has a son who's in the military. Yeah. And he told me that one of the guys who's now a girl took yeah. a bullet for him in Iraq, and I changed my opinion after that post Obama. Yeah, post Obama. It's yeah. just what it is. Yeah, and Patrick Mulroney says he doesn't mind if, if you're gay in the military, just don't do that gay shit around me. Just don't do it around me, but you know, if you're fighting with the boys, it's okay. Trump 2020. It's what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, oh, yeah. the Prophet Muhammad was born after Jesus. Yeah. After Jesus, so it's, it's recorded history. Thank you, It's Mike. recorded history, yeah. Yeah, so, so that's what Muhammad Amir. I think he was saying he was before recorded. Uh, no, no, Prophet Muhammad is after Jesus, so it's, it's he's saying. Uh, Mo Amir is saying that's why uh, the prophet, that's why Islam is the one truth, True because religion. Prophet Muhammad was it, in is in recorded history. But they do appreciate Jesus, right? Or you don't think they're you know Jesus is a uh, is a prophet, just yeah. like Muhammad. I don't know why we haven't gone to the Muzzy for the answers for this. Yeah, well, we're gonna get Mo in here. We'll get Mo in here, and we're just all gonna wear burqas. Yeah, it's what it is. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah. If he comes on. Will she have to put on a hijab? 100%. Yeah, she can't have her hair down. It's very disrespectful to have her hair down. Because how funny would she's going to have to turn around and look at the wall. Wait, hold up. There's no way he's going to listen to this episode because he's a busy, he's a very funny kid. He's a very funny kid. Check out his Netflix he's special, the, the Vagabond. But let's just let the fans know what we're going to do because yeah. it's funny and he won't know. When we invite him in, can we have her put on a hijab and just not say anything? Yeah, that's so funny. And when he asks about it, just be like, we thought, you yeah. know, and then maybe put Mike in a hijab too. Maybe yeah. we all wear yeah. hijabs. Yeah, yeah, no, but that would be so funny. <laughs> There's a hijab store right on Fifth Avenue in, in Bay Ridge, right that's, in uh, in Beirut. Yeah, but how do you go, how do you go, how do you go in and buy them though? We can't look like in. us and buy them. Yes, you can. They're going to know we're doing something. No, they fishing. didn't. I, was I, so... I can bring them if you guys want. I'll bring everyone yeah. in jobs. Yeah, if you could bring in four, we'll put on the hijab, hijabs. Yeah. Uh, We'll just do that. Yeah. Would you mind putting one on? It, I, As a joke, would you put it on? As a joke? I mean, it would be very interesting. We'll yeah. all put them on. Mike's we'll going to put, put one on, on yeah. too. You guys we'll, don't have that much hair to manage, though. That's probably what would be uh, you I mean, it's so funny yeah. that if yeah. so, to, ha to have Mike in that thing, I really, it's, it's hard for me to take. We're going to do it, and we're going to not try to laugh when he comes yeah, in. Yeah, we're just going to come in and be like, thank you so much. We want to have a serious conversation about Islam. Serious. And when he brings it up, be like, we, you know, we just want to, out of respect for you, because you're Muslim, we just want to make sure yeah, we just, I, I don't want to show my hair shown, but then the, the kicker of the thing is I'm going to get up and have no pants on. We'll be full <laughs> cocked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, because full shrink dick. You be, now, if you were a hijab and hijab, is yeah. it a hijab or a hijab? Yeah, with a fucking hijab. thong on. And, and just a thong? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna yeah. get murdered. Yes, yeah. what it is? Cause I found this fucking site that they just have shirts for me. Yeah. Um, it's a sh um. Hold on, wait. Let me fucking keep talking. Let me find this site. Yeah, um, I tried to. Yeah, I was searching before and I couldn't find what I was trying to find for you. And we don't even have to interrupt the podcast anymore to do reads because we're gonna just edit them in. How about this video you pulled up? What you? That's from the Patreon draft. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Mike, see if it's still up there. It, this is uh, from the Patreon draft. This is uh, Lisa Johnson. Later. This is a really awesome video. Yeah, can you help us with the Patreon draft? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Be fun. so can we quickly explain the Patreon draft to people who? First of all, you have to go to patreoncom slash Boys to enter. But yeah. what's the draft? Send okay, in. so here's what happened. Yeah, this is how how hyena we are. Yeah, the Patreon draft happened what like a month ago at this point. The Patreon draft? That's Two about months. three months ago. About three months ago. Yeah, that was actually, you weren't even married yeah. yet. Yeah. I mean, the Patreon, that's what that, I was, that might have been 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, you guys, don't be too hard on us. We're a couple of hyenas. That's what I was trying to say before. When we named this history hyena, I really didn't know how wild you were going to get on here. Mm-hmm. You go wild. I just had to stop you midway through that with, through that Hey Bird thing, because like you just go. You're Chrissy fucking, the brakes don't work. Yeah, Chrissy Greenlight. Yeah, you're Chrissy uh, fucking. Hey Bird. Yeah. So don't be too hard on us. The draft started like three months ago. Um, I, I don't even think we remember who we drafted. Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea. I just remember drafting people. I remember drafting Leon the, Leanne the garlic slicer. <laughs> so what we're going to, I think maybe there's a few people who we drafted who, who might have even canceled by now. Probably. But what we're going to do is Venetia is going to come in, right? And she's going to she's gonna help us organize. We're going to get right back on track. Yeah. And we're going to start getting, we're going to start doing our, our the games, the whole reason why we made this draft. We yeah. got our teams, we're going to do it. And the first game that we did, we never even followed up on. So, and I don't even know where a lot of the videos are. I got to find them. But here's one from one of our 
like top tier non. Lisa Johnson, who I drafted to Team Chrissy D Cups. Yeah, so this is for so the 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 game was to make a video explaining to the toots because I'm a screwed in kid. Yes, why you want to be a non toot? Make it funny. Make it and funny and we'll, get drafted. Yeah, why is it so good to be a so non toot? Go to patreoncom slash boys for these videos, but we just want to play one right here. Yeah. this is Lisa Johnson. Well, no, don't go there because they're not there. We're going to find them. But yeah. We're going to get them up now because we have a woman in here that's cleaning things up. Yeah, and everybody's sitting up straight, and because she's a woman with a Greek father, and she's got a blazer on. She's from New York. She yeah. voted for Hillary. It's guaranteed. Yeah, did you go Hillary? Your fa- you, you went Hillary. Yeah. Your family definitely went Trump, though. Dad went Trump. Um, no, you don't know. not my immediate family, but there was a few surprises during the family, you know, yeah. reunion. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, your family back. in Greece tried to go Trump from Greece. <laughs> <laughs> no, they hate him probably. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah, they hate tricks him him, over yeah. there, but you know. But Greeks here, there's a lot of Greek Republicans. They're just very yeah. into the conspiracy theories here. All, right, so All Greeks that's, love conspiracy. They well, that's, love it. They love. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the embryo. All right, Vidor. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. No, leave, leave a space so we could edit it between. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Vidora Raj Pasca, Sri Lankan comic based in Berlin. He hosts the Anything Goes podcast, which is pretty much just him sitting down and talking about shit and comedy and culture and current events with different artists around the city. You can find all his dates, podcast episodes, and social media stuff on livefromthesandbox.com. <laughs> Best website in the business, livefromthesandbox.com. And he can also be found on Instagram and all social media at Vidora Raj Pasca. Yeah, he also hit us up if we could post some of his stand-up clips. You're going to have to join at the new $500 member level if you want that Vidora. It's what it is. So cough up that Sri Lankan money. Yeah, it's what it is. We take Sri Lankan money as well. Yeah. We're also brought to you by our inaugural favorite corporate small business sponsor, however you want to call it, because you know who it is? It's Dr. Harvey Spencer Jr. Yes. From South Carolina. Go to a healthy happy smile.com. Uh, a healthy smile family and cosmetic don- dentistry. You can follow him on Instagram at a healthy smile rock hill. So go check it out. Tell them how he sent you. You know what they're going to do? They're going to crack open those fucking teeth and they're going to clean them out. It's going to be him or his wife. Tell them the hyena sent you. Now this next one, nutrition made fun. They're here to help you. The tooties and the non-toots drop some pounds, take control of your eating together. We're going to dial in a series of sustainable eating habits that work for you so you don't have to, you don't got to worry about calories, rules, or restricted foods. Again, you lose weight for good. Eat what you want and stay sane in the process with some common sense habits that will last a lifetime. Coach Matt, this kid, Coach Matt, his eyes are too far apart. So is Giannis's fucking nemesis, but he's a certified <laughs> nutrition coach and a wild dude who would rather support us than figure out traditional marketing. We make his History fun like they'll make eating healthier fun next enrollment opens july 15th follow them at nutrition made fun on the gram that's at nutrition made fun on the gram yeah we posted them on our gram so you could check that out and we also got uh tremors copy coming what does that mean oh working on smart cups yeah i know that kid we should have hit him up for a lot bigger we yeah yeah that kid's, a, that kid's a fucking smart kid so it's the uh the, that, that one. Okay. Oh, yeah. These kids also got a fucking deal. And they're lucky they got grandfathered in because they already got a successful business. Give it, And they, they got a great business. Lakeside Maple. They specialize in trail mix, cuz. So it keeps you slim if you're throwing hands. Yeah. And also, check it out, Chrissy. It comes with pure maple syrup on the trail mix. So if you got a sweet tooth, then this will crack open that sweet tooth. They have three different flavors, original, ginger, chai, and spicy. Uh, It makes a great snack if you're on the go in your car and you're a healthy kid or you're at work. Uh, It's something great to sprinkle into your yogurt. I always uh, eat Greek yogurt in the morning, so I'm going to sprinkle that shit in there. They also make a trail mix butter, which is a combination of almonds and sunflower seeds. Mmm, baked with pure maple syrup and freshly ground into butter. Oh, God, I just got a pewing in my dick. A pewing? Everything is made by hand in small batches by non tits So use the code WILD, W-I-L-D, at the checkout for 15% off your order at lakesidemaple.com. This is actually dope. I'm going to fucking buy this. LapesideMaple.com. Go get it. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's let's go Lisa Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Wuzzies. It's your girl, Lisa Johnson, a.k.a. Queen Peace, a.k.a. Sometimes Single, Sometimes Engaged, depending on who's asking. And I'm going to tell you why you should join the matriarchy on Patreon.com slash Boys. 
listen, if you want to be a hyena, you want to be here for a good time and then a long time. Yeah. And not only are you going to get access to good content, wild content, wild messages on the message board, you're also going to get three additional benefits that you didn't even think you had access to. You didn't even know you had access to. The first one being you get to order off the secret menu and cough up because... Can I get a um, grande ice Leroy, please? <laughs> <laughs> Second benefit is you learn the ways of Wei Shang Shi. <laughs> How many geriatric dicks do I have to suck the guy of this fucking traffic? Wei Shang Shi. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that shit regardless. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. And the third benefit is learning the circle of trust. Because make no mistake, you are trusting your hard earned American dollars or the money you received from some cuck who picked you up in the back of a pickup truck at Home Depot or a gas station to do some bullshit ass jobs at his house. You're trusting that money. You're giving that money to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Tattoo fingers, it says. Yeah. And, and it, it was a picture of a sand beach. Yeah. Your peace? Chrissy D will crack you open and clean you out. S -lo -S. Let me be crystal fucking clear with you guys. <laughs> if you think Chrissy D is a comedian traveling all over the country for jokes, you got another thing coming. Just make no mistake, Chrissy D is a puss puss hunter. <laughs> That's right. Chrissy D doesn't want to be fed. Chrissy D wants to hunt. And if you're single and a fucking peace or a guy from Houston, he will find you and he will clean you out. Your your piece piece from Houston. And look Chrissy at the picture you chose when yeah. you're doing your underbite. Yeah. 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 You gotta go to patreon.com slash yeah. Bay Ridge Boy. So thank Young. you guys for watching. Again, if you want to be a part of the matriarchy, go to patreon.com wow. slash Bay Ridge Boys. Wow. And you get to see crazy shit like this. Also, this video is a complete Wei Shan Xin. Wei Shan Xin, Wei Shan Xin, Wei Shan Xin. Fucking crush Lisa Johnson. We have to, can we post that right now on patreon.com yeah. slash Bay Ridge Boys? Yeah, and I have, we, we, we will, Instagram? there's a few more. Yeah. Should we put it on Instagram? Well, it's yeah. too long though, right? I can do it too far. Okay. Yeah. That was hilarious. Wow, I'm actually like tearing up, especially the picture of tattooed fingers in the beach. Yeah, I mean, it was so nice to see that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was good. And then she found a picture of you doing the underbite. People have finally figured out that you're a little Franks and Beans with that underbite. Yeah. Because there's that video of us talking about um, my little papa papa bitch, and they said they said they saw, they let, everyone's talking about how they love when you get an underbite when you get excited. Yeah. When you get excited, you, you know the jaw comes out and you're doing yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. That you get a little Franks and beans for Yanni Long Days. For Yanni Long Days. If I'm yeah. saying something, you're getting into it. You do a little underbite. Yeah. 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 So. That was good. That yeah. was good. That draft stuff was good. I'm excited. So we're not going to talk about any history today, or do you want to just briefly talk about? Um, no, we, we we're already we were too gonna, deep in it. Like, we're too deep. Okay. We do, this uh, this is a nice little. This is this is. The, let's talk about San Diego quick. Let's talk about San Diego. But this is the episode to let we're, we're letting our fans know we're on it. We're on we've it. We've heard your critiques, and boy, we've had a few. Yeah, and not about content. So that's the good part. Yeah. You guys love the cast, but we do understand that we're going to get a little more organized, and we're going to we're going to get we're going to get better. Yeah, yeah. So I just want to give a shout out to um, Jason. Schmidt Water, Smith Town Water Department. Shout out! Um, I just want to give a shout out to Jason, who came out to the American Comedy Company. Um, he's a true fan. He drove down from L.A. He's um, a Canadian Eastern Hemi. Um, oh, you, you sent me a video of this kid. I sent you a video of this kid. It, it, this kid is a fan. This kid's a big time fan, and uh, he was with us the whole night. Me, him, and Sergio. Um, he got Sergio to break his sobriety after six years and smoke weed. Um, so that's good. And. Um, and, uh, and then he made many of the women surrounding us at the bar at very uncomfortable, and we kind of left and never want to see him or talk to him again. But thank you so much <laughs> for for being there in San Diego, because cause ma you like made us, you made me really fucking happy uh, that like someone, like that, just what a fan you are. So I just want to say truthfully, thank you so much. I'm your consultant. Um, so he says that uh, his parents are not proud of him at all. He's an Asian kid, so he had to be a lawyer or a doctor. Yeah. But he said he doesn't want to do anything. He just wants to give his life to the matriarchy. That's what yeah. he told me. He's a twenty-five member. Uh, He's a twenty-five dollar member who has been a twenty-five dollar member for six months, and we haven't called him once. We haven't called him so, once. So yeah, yeah. So he said that he doesn't mind. He's still paying. Yeah. Um. But he's just like you know, it's kind of like what I'm talking about because he said, "Oh, I'm a twenty-five dollar member. I never got my call." And I said, "Well, you know, we're a little backlog." I said, "When did you join?" And he said, six months ago." <laughs> and I said. Uh, uh, well, it's just what it is. Yeah. And he said, cuz, it's no problem. Um, 
that he likes it, and then he gave us a lot, me a lot of criti- uh, constructive criticism, which I really appreciated yeah. from a fan, yeah. what he likes, what he doesn't like, and uh, and yeah, really motivated to change. So thank you so much. Um, let me find his fucking actual Instagram, because I really want you guys to to go show this kid some love. Um, yeah, and uh, he's the one, he's... Uh San Diego, yeah. I, I'm just no. You tell the story about San Diego. Oh, with yeah. The, with the homeless people. Well, San Diego is like an anomaly in California because it's a conservative town. Yeah, because it's on. It, it's right on the border with. Um, uh, okay, Tijuana. Just real name. His name is Jason Lee, and his Instagram is at Smile Per Gallon. I love uh, when Asian guys have the name like Jason or Tom, and then yeah. Lee. It's like what's what's the what's the real name? Smile Per Gallon, and and he's like for real Asian. Yeah, you so know his I mean? real name is like. Please, that I told you. His name such and he talks like ding. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, when, when, yeah. yeah, like when he started so talking to me, I just was like, are you going to give me a menu or something? Because I got to go. <laughs> Way song Did he have an accident or no? No, he had an accident, but he's he's from he lives in uh Calgary, Canada, but he came over from China yeah. um like uh, Way song <laughs> like, <laughs> like fifteen years ago. Yeah. And uh and now he's a he's a consultant. Um and uh and he's he's he, he said he's living in LA now. Yeah. Um and he said, you know, most cousin for girls to crack open and clean out. And it's like, that's what he was saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, and then, and then Chinese ma- just sounds like chicken, like a chicken yeah. fight. But, but thank you so much. So go follow at Smile Per Gallon and tell him thank you for his service because he's a fucking real deal kid. And he's a non toot who's just not fucking whining about not getting his call after paying well over $200 <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> we know we really Wild. appreciate it. we listen yeah. we love the fan fans the whole reason why we're doing this because because of you guys so thank you san diego's a conservative town it's on the border with tijuana tijuana is like six minutes away from san diego yeah, yeah no it's it's crazy but, but you know he wanted to go down there but i didn't want i wasn't going down there with that fucking nut job yeah especially because kevin barnett died there yeah so a good friend yeah it's yeah. a terrible thing and i'm never going to tijuana was he in tijuana i think he was i believe in so yeah yeah i'm not going there a lot of people go there to party but the, this is how much of a conservative town san diego is which is an anomaly in california it's a very liberal place but san diego is a conservative town yeah. when you go to san diego and tijuana is literally like three minutes away from fucking san diego it's like on the other side right it, you're there you're on the border with mexico there is no trace of tijuana in san diego no there's no bleed over like when you're in san diego you're in san diego let me tell you something here's how you know you're in fucking a conservative town the background of the comedy club the american comedy company is a bald eagle with american flag draped around it yeah that's the background that's like welcome to the comedy show it's just america I, if I that owner could that. put a, a fucking donald trump 2020 on he would do it yeah but. And he listens to all our stuff too. He's I think he's a fan of us. I think he the listens owner to the podcast. Uh, he might be. Yeah. Yeah. Or I, I've never met the guy. Whoever runs the account, uh yeah, yeah, the yeah. American comedy account. Who is that? The manager or the No, it's it's probably his kid Stevie Wonderbread. Go follow Stevie Wonderbread on Instagram. He's a good kid. Yeah. So when I did it, um How many years ago? Maybe two years ago? Yeah. So th- this is a story that happened there. This is yeah. a true story that happened. So if you go to San Diego, like a lot of cities that aren't New York, the homeless people are very aggressive with you. Right. You could be sitting outside a restaurant, they'll come right up to you. They really kind of get in your space a little bit, right? And I hate that shit, because I'm from New York, right? Can you hear me eating the celery? I can hear you eating the celery, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I lived in Miami, too, they were super fucking aggressive. Um, New York, they're not. So, I, I said, I noticed that in San Diego, and the first joke I opened up with, um, when I was there was, um, you know, like in New York, our homeless people aren't that aggressive because to be honest, in New York, they know that if they kind of get into our space, that one of them could get set on fire. Yeah. We'll set them on fire. So yeah. there's just, this is understanding that you could get set on fire. Yeah, because it's just like in New York, it's like, you know, sometimes people just, they throw in the towel and they've had enough. They just want to get to their, on their, yeah. on the train without... You know, the homeless people bother them, so they just light one on fire. It's what it is. Yeah, they like, did the same thing in Salem. It worked out fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In New York, you just don't know who you're dealing with. And, like, New Yorkers are the kind of people who just, like, yeah, they, yeah. they won't just take it. Right? Yeah. So I made the joke. I was like, all you got to do, San Diego, is just set one on fire to send right. a message to the community. Right. That this could, you just want them to think it could yeah. happen. Yeah. Because I said, in New York, it works. We don't actually set them on fire, but they know in the back of their head that it could happen. It could happen. So you need yeah. to just set one on fire so it, it send a message. Right. 
And then um, I said it like the first, maybe the second show, maybe it was the third show on Saturday where someone finally said to me, because I was hearing a lot of laughs, but also a few groans. Yeah. And of course, I could understand the groans a little bit because it was an edgy joke or whatever, but mm -hmm. but the groans had a little more to them until finally someone in the audience finally told me because I asked, like, what's going on? I'm, like, I'm just kidding. And the guy said, well, actually, um, like two weeks ago, someone did that. Yeah. So someone in San Diego was act some fucking psycho was like dousing people with gasoline and setting them on fire. Yeah. Yeah. You know so, what it is about crazy conservatives? Yeah. When they lose it and they've just had enough, yeah. they just do the awful thing that you yell in frustration in your car. Yeah. When you're like, God damn it, I wish I could just set all these people on fire. Yeah. Some fucking psychotic right wing kid is going, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make a stop at Home I'm Depot. Do I'm going to Home Depot on the way home, <laughs> yeah. and it's what it is. It's what it is. Yeah. So, so it's a horrible thing, but yeah, that's what happened. It's what happened. I mean, San Diego, yeah, it's it's that gas lamp district there, which, by the way, shout out for the American Comedy Company. The shows are sold out again, and it's a lot of Hyena fans, so I really appreciate the fucking support. Um, shout out to Smithtown Water Department. And sh uh, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Um, so thank you guys for coming. But it's it's weird because it's such a beautiful place. You got the La Jolla Cove there. You got the Seals. Um, you have beautiful beaches. And then you just have, in the middle of that city, you just have a lot. I mean, it's the homeless are fucking everywhere. And they are truly aggressive. Like they're they on get, Well, they're on drugs. Yeah. They're, they're on drugs. So, and they just get in your fucking space, yeah. man. It's like, I, I, you know, I'm not good with that. Yeah. Remember when I told you that story about when yeah, I, I responded to a guy and then he spit on the woman behind me? Yeah, it's just what happens. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Sometimes. It was really my just, fault. Yeah, it's a little unlucky. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, I was like, come on, man. He came up to us while we were eating outside, and I'm like, come yeah. on, man. See, I don't. I, I, we were. I was just dealing with them. I mean, the thing is, I, I think that. Even though here's 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 why I always give money, but if you're sitting outside, it's like uh, let me enjoy my. F you're, you're you're interrupting my fucking meal, man. The thing is with me is the truth is 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 I'm I'm a compassionate kid. I joke around a lot. I'm I got an alpha skeleton with a beta brain and soul. So I think, uh, but because I have an alpha skeleton and an alpha looking head, I think that the homeless don't talk to me because they think that I'm gonna want to light them on fire and they eat them. They think you're an officer too. They think I'm an officer. Yeah. So they don't really approach me. Um, but. But I, I mean, the way that they were make they were making this one family feel so uncomfortable. Like this guy with his wife and they had two little kids, and they were just like, he was trying to like scam him, you know, like that things like in New York they'll fucking drop a bottle that's already broken and then be like, oh, you drove you broke my Snapple, man, give me yeah. a dollar, like this. My glasses, yeah, that shit, you know. Yeah. So they were trying to scam this family and I just walked you know Sergio saw it I, I just couldn't I didn't even tell him I, I just couldn't take it I was did like, you throw hands at one I, of them no 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 no, no, no. Okay. but I just told the, I just said I said hey you gotta stop scamming these people you're a real dirtbag and then and I said dirtbag because that's Sergio's word yeah. and then Sergio was just like dumbfounded that yeah. I was doing this and uh, and the guy was like um the guy was like, oh, no, I'm, I'm just playing a card trick. I was like, you're not. You're trying to steal this family's I'm money. I'm from New York City. I was, like, I was yeah. like, where are you guys from? And they said, Michigan. I was like, yeah, he's, this guy's a fuck. You want to stay away from this filth? And I just, you know. I wow. Should, you're, yeah, you're yeah. one of those kids in San Diego that's just had enough. Yeah, I just had enough. And then the guy walked away. Because you were acting away. like you patrol the border and you just had enough. Yeah, I just had enough <laughs> because it's just like, you know, like these people are getting scammed and it's just brutal. Yeah. So I was like, you got to just stay away from these fucking dirtbags. And it's, I didn't mean the guy's filth because he's homeless, but I mean, it's just the mindset to take money from, you know, these people. It's just filth. It's like, listen, the truth is you're probably homeless. You're going to blame it on everybody else's circumstances. Oh, it's because you were born this way uh -oh. and this happened. People got circumstances. People got obstacles to overcome. Overcome them. Stop being a fucking loser and stop fucking trying to get into drugs and alcohol and damage your life because guess what? I've had plenty of reasons too to get into drugs and alcohol and I did it. Okay, I got skull fucked by a priest and, and I'm too. still fucking here right now Instead of fucking having smoking crack and saying, oh, I don't have any opportunity anymore because they want to give it to the fucking, you know, as somebody who's a fucking transgender Eskimo. You know what I do? I go into that gym. I throw hands. I take a little bite of Nutella because I got to fucking hit the sweet tooth. I go pick up that baby and I sit in my car and I drop her off and we look by the water. And then, get yeah, if I'm feeling really vulnerable, you know what I do, Yana? I go into a park. I go into that park downtown on uh, the, the east side over there, Washington Park, and I spin the wheel a little bit and that gets it out. But the truth is, <laughs> is whatever you're going through yeah. stop blaming it on everybody else because I don't care I don't give a fuck yeah. I don't give a fuck what situation you were born into I don't care yeah. I don't care what nationality you are I don't care everybody starts somewhere some people start ahead some people start behind it is your responsibility as you get older to overcome your obstacles and if you can't 
We'll seek help. We'll help you out. But do not ever fucking blame it on anybody else but yourself. Wow. Yeah. That was a special steel pipe Chrissy San Diego edition. So (laughs) instead of picking up a steel pipe, the kid picked up a little lighter fluid and a bick. I picked up a lighter (laughs) pipe. Cuz, when you go back to the American... What what I'm saying, did anything I say, was that anything wrong? It's it's all things that you heard Lynn scream in the shower. Yeah, it's just... (laughs) Yeah, Lynn just screamed things in the shower like, why do I got to fucking go... Get on the train every day for 35 years to pay for your baby's mama's mama's food stamps. <laughs> yeah, it's just Wild. S. Yeah. Venetia, is it different being here in person and seeing it, or is it what you imagined? Actually, it's. I, I feel like every time you guys are, uh, uh, when I'm listening to you guys, I feel like I'm part of it. But like here, being yeah. here, it's like, it's kind of the same. I feel like I have my headphones and just. It's good. It's yeah. The, you know, life you think, show, life show. Yeah. If, if your dad knew you were, uh, you were involved with us in any way he wouldn't be happy if you were saying what are you doing with your summer and you're like I'm hanging out with these two kids doing this podcast and he took a listen yeah you may be in military school in Greece <laughs> yeah he, how he, old are you I'm 27 27 good yeah. so now you're, is your pressure on you from your family to start getting married and having kids now now are you a Jen Bagakis 27 or, or a real 27 <laughs> yeah are you a spin the wheel 27 <laughs> <laughs> I am I just for real 27, 27. so yeah, is there pressure to start to like settle down oh that happened like five years ago yeah. like right. you know uh, really the pressure is from uh, Yaya uh, she actually has um, dementia so like when I te- remind her my age she, yeah. the first thing that she says is like yo you you gotta find someone now let like, me ask you are happening? you I know what your family wants but do you uh, are you only settling for a Greek as well She's got no choice. No, but I'm asking her what she wants. I know she has no choice, but like, what does she want? She's not going to answer that honestly. I mean, don't try to be a hero here. (laughs) And what are you going to do? Try to change the Greek culture right here on this podcast? No, I'm just not going to happen. It's just an interest. It's just, I'm honestly interested. I just I don't know what she wants. You're asking basically what you're asking her is would be like me asking Mo. I'm asking if you want to take a walk and get water with me. (laughs) (laughs) Would you like to get water? I I don't know if you want to just get a slice of maybe water. I'll convert the Greek Orthodox. They can dump me in the tub I like a baby. Can I get water with I you? I think you're a beautiful woman, and um, I just want to get water. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go get a spani copita and water and water? Maybe we could do something nice like that. No, yeah. but so how do you how do you feel? The equivalent of what you're asking is is what like if Mo Amir was here and I was asking him, I tell me why Islam is bullshit. Yeah, it, you, you're not gonna get her. It's not, not gonna, gonna get happen. An yeah. So 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 the truth is, you have to f- be Greek. Uh, yeah, Greek. we have to, you know, you, you, breed more Greeks. There's not an Greek. option for you to even date a non-Greek. Uh, you would have to not encourage at all. Yeah, right. if you were have to you do ever it, in your life? Yeah, I have, I have. Um, but most you sure of, you want to, you want us to cackle that out, or <laughs> we can cackle that out? No, I mean, you're okay letting your dad know that. <laughs> <laughs> No, we no. have not gone there yet. Wait, Shanchi, wait, Shanchi, wait, So you, you did not- told me that word's okay to say. That's why I said it. Is yeah, that, it's okay? it just means black. But Greeks have turned it into something else just because okay, how, so how racist that, Greeks are. But if that's are. like a bad word to say, it's I won't not, say that. Okay, it, okay. It's okay. the Greek word for black. Mm-hmm. Okay, Mavri means black. Okay. Yeah, because I was just kidding. Wait, Shanchi. But anything that comes out of that German hole, yeah, yeah it's just what it, it is. It just has a little twang to it. Yeah, no, I. It's just got a Ridgewood twang. I have no quarrel with any with any groups of people. No, everybody knows that. Yeah, even that's why the Eastern Hemi loves you so much over there, and you call him Eastern. I got no problem. Did you call him an Eastern Hemi when you saw him? Yeah, Tommy in San Diego. Uh, who? The, the oh, e- the kid Jason. Jason. Yeah, oh. I called him. Well, he said he said he's a White Walker. He said he's an he's he called himself an Eastern Hemi White Walker. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we would get Mike back over that wall if we could lift him up. But he's a yeah. heavy kid. No, but he's losing fucking some lbs. Yeah, Mike. and if he doesn't get the thing straight, we're gonna catapult him right back over that wall. Yeah, right back over that wall. Yeah. So you because Zach's doing jujitsu now, by the way. So we got to so just he'll be get very a hold careful around fucking yeah. tattoo face. Terrorists win. Yeah, yeah, he'll get a yeah, <laughs> yeah. He'll try to throw hands. He'll get a hold of you. Yeah, he'll get. He'll fucking grapple me, and then cuz make no mistake. Do a few he, things to you physically. Yeah, you better be careful though, because if you get a finger anywhere near around my butt, I'll come and it's over. <laughs> So you dated a non-Greek. Does your family know you dated yeah. a non-Greek? Yeah, they did. Oh my God, they welcomed him in. <laughs> um, he was a nice Jewish boy, and my mom was actually kind of like, okay, you know, our cultures are kind of similar. And yeah, you know, growing up on the Upper West Side, you know, except we- for his family controlling all the banks, which your parents told when he wasn't around. You're know, <laughs> yeah. like, we're okay with him, but you got to tell his family to leave our country well, alone. No, well, that, well, because you brought him a nice Jewish guy, at least he got some money. The father probably was accepted. No, accepted him. no, I, no, it's still not. No, the father. It's gonna take. Yeah, I, I I wish someone would do the research to figure out what the average is. But if a guy marries a non a Greek girl and he's non Greek, it takes about the father about five to ten years to accept him. 
Right. I would say around, and he's got to be a great guy. And like the whole 10 years, he's got to take care of his daughter so much that finally the Greek father capitulates and says, you know, you know what, son, you're good, you know. You've so been the movie good. My Big Fat Greek Wedding is, is based in so much truth, that's why it was such a hit. Exactly. It's, it's based mostly yeah. on Greek Americans rather than Greeks. That's the kind of the big difference. Okay, that, so a Greek, okay, so you're saying a Greek American is less strict or more strict with the dating? They're more strict. A lot of Greek Americans, like, uh, you know, they came over in the 50s over sure. here. So, like, you know, the mentality of, you know, trying to procreate and just, like, be okay. around in a Greek community, that's all they really wanted. So if you're dating someone else who's outside of the Greek community, that means that you're going to be bringing in but the, the communities. In Greece, stay. your husband could be Asian. No problem. No, anymore. no. Well, it's like, there's no Asians there, though, you know. It's oh. Like, but yeah, not really. Germans are b the worst. They're, Greeks hate Germans, They're, especially Cretans. Cretans yeah. hate Germans. It's yeah. just, it's just. I mean, you can't blame them. They were occupied by them. That's what happens. But but most number one hate is Turks. Turks. Gre Greeks in Greece hate Turks. Right. Here it's not such a big problem, I no. think. But in Greece, it's like a bad word to call somebody a Turk. A Turk. But you could never come to her Upper West Side apartment. Is your dad an apartment? <laughs> Excuse me. Is he in the apartment? Your dad? Yeah. Yeah. You can. Oh, so you live at home. So yeah. The yeah. My pa my parents uh, they live in Florida and they come back. So I, that's. So we got a three betty. <laughs> you're, you're you're up here alone. Your parent. You're unsupervised. Adult. Oh, you, got a, you got a three betty. I, I'm here with my brother as well. Uh, he's so. guarding you. Yeah. So yeah. you would come on natural brother. sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. What are you selling it for? I'm looking to invest. <laughs> if you if you went home with her and yeah. like she was you guys start dating she'd be like hey this is my this is my new boyfriend, Chris DiStefano. And the father would be like, really? So, uh, yeah. you Greek? <laughs> yeah. And you'd go, no, uh, you, you'd come out with that, no, no, I'm sorry, Mr. What's yeah. your last name? Uh, Jairus, Jairusinopoulos. Mr. Jairusinopoulos, I'm sorry, no, I'm from Ridgewood, Queens. So, you know, my mother, Lynn, she worked hard all her life, 40 years, she got a good pension, you know, I'm a yeah. good kid, I'm a Catholic kid. Yeah, I, I love my daughter who's half Puerto Rican. Yeah, then, yeah, then he said, so you, you've been married? You have, you've been married? Have you been married? No, I not exactly. I got a situation with the mother. I got a situation with the mother. Yeah. I met her one night, and then you know she got she was pregnant nine months later. Yeah, and then he would say, "Just get out of the house. <laughs> get out of the house. <laughs> get out of the house. <laughs> Stay away from her. Get out of the house. You piece of shit." <laughs> and that would be it. No, you be once you said you had a situation with the mother. Is that accurate? Yeah, it's over. Yeah, verbatim, basically yeah. what yeah. happens yeah. on a you know. Yeah, is it we possible your father would ever accept the fact that he had a situation with the mother and a baby with another woman? It's not welcome. Yes, no. and it's, it's not. not now, would your mother accept it? Uh, no, no, no. it's both. It's a no for both. <laughs> like, now, yeah. what about what about if what if what about I have a decently high level of education? Would that help? Uh, yes, we like. Yeah, you're. I have a doctorate degree. Yeah. Menos, you're very well educated. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So that so that's a point. How yeah, about they me? Like that. Now me, I'm Greek, um, but I'm a I'm a clown. I'm a party clown. Yeah. My job he's is Greek, party. But he clown. dresses up like a woman and he makes money off. Yeah, it. they would. Yeah. <laughs> so is there a battle? Or because he's Greek, he would always win. Well, no. my family knows about everybody knows in the. But Greek your does your father? Well, they know? know about Panos, but do they know about Morisa? Yeah. Do Ooh, they know about that one? Yeah, they're going to see that. That's going to be different. <laughs> that's different than Mr. Yeah! Panos. <laughs> Yeah, it's li but your dad doesn't know Mr. Pons. Probably your brothers. No, my whole family does. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We love that uh, skit, the Malaka uh, yeah. video. That's the funniest thing. Now, could we set up? I'm just gonna say it. Could we set up a slice in a, a glass of water? A slice of water. Could we set up a boxing match between one of your brothers? And if I win, I get your heart. <laughs> 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 yeah, because yeah. if you start a bo boxing, one of the brother, the other brother would jump in and get on it's your back, and, the and then I would jump in too because you're German and we just gotta get you down. You gotta get me down, you snow monkeys. Yeah, we gotta fucking put these snow monkeys. Let's read out. Some, should we should we read out some new Patreon members and make some calls? Let's make some calls. And how many calls do we have to make, Mush? Uh, we're making five calls today. Oh, that's not bad. Five calls. So listen, patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Uh, we have capped, we have closed the $100 level because we're just too big, to be honest with you, and you guys got an amazing deal. So yeah. that's what it is. But since we're such good kids and we appreciate your support, whoever's lo how many are locked in at the $100 level, Mike? Seven. We have seven... $100 sponsors who are grandfathered in. If you want to be $100 sponsors for the rest of your fucking life, for the rest of our lives, you're in. But from yeah. now on, we have a new level. It's $500 a month. Call me Phillips Head Pappas. So if you want to be a corporate sponsor. Which is still a great deal, $500. It's actually, it should yeah. be more. So $500 a month yeah. now is a new level. But here, Chrissy's going to say yeah. Read, I'm going to read out the, the newest members to the Patreon. Welcome so much. Thank you for going to patreon.com slash Boys. And we always encourage you guys to come up with funny names based off the podcast. 
podcast lingo, or whatever you think. Yeah. And uh, anytime they're uh, they're appreciated. So we're going to start off with Nikki No Cucks. Nikki No <laughs> Nikki No Cucks. <laughs> Then we got Chrissy Westchester. Yeah, what's up? Westchester. Union worker Tyler. These guys are getting funny now. Yeah, Derek yeah. Walsh. Derek Walsh. Clayton yeah. Taylor for $25. Wait, is that Clayton? No, that's not. We lost Clay. Uh, we lost Clay Anthony. Clay Anthony. But now we got Clayton Taylor for 25 bucks. Welcome. Amanda Mortochi. Amanda Mortochi. There's definitely not a situation where she wouldn't get disciplined if there was too much garlic. It's what it is. Alejandra Shabazz. Ali Hunter's uh, dad's, yeah. Ali, ha- Al- oh, no, Ali Andrina Shabazz. She might have gotten, we might have some more muzzies in here now because of the last <laughs> episode that we had with the German muzz. Yeah, that could be that. Yeah. yeah. We love muzzies. Yeah, we love, fire. yeah. So, um, Trenton, ooh, Trenton Caruthers. That's a fucking wasp. That, no, I thought. Trenton Caruthers? Yeah, that's a wasp, right? Or is, I thought it could be a black kid. I think it could be a draft pick. Okay. Yeah. Next one, Josh White. <laughs> Could be a black kid, Josh White. Carmine, get me a water, Galuccio. I mean, ten out of ten. I mean, he's so tired to hurt my balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Carmine, get me a water, Galuccio. Carmine Galuccio. Carmine Galuccio. That might be as yeah. good as Sally Guzon. Sally Guzon. Carmine Galuccio. Just every time you talk to me, gives you a quote. <laughs> He just gives you a quote on fucking on some marble shit. There's no way that that kid doesn't have a family business with yeah, a van with a number business. on it. Yeah. Will Riddle. Will Riddle, all right. Matt, should I eat this potato or ferment it and drink it, Driscoll? Yeah, well, yeah. We thank you for your service, Matt. Thank Maddie. you for your service, That Maddie. was a little funny, long-winded. But it's still fine. Yeah. Henry Heintish? It's a wow, German kid. It's a German yeah, kid. Yeah, I almost, I had to fucking. I, almost, did you go boing, boing, boing? <laughs> Justin, that ham pee. He's the last guy. Justin, all right. That, nice. Thank you so much. So Thank you guys so much for your service. We really appreciate it. You know what's funny about this list of Patreon members? Yeah. It's starting to feel like when we first started, they're getting shorter. Yeah, they're getting shorter because <laughs> yeah, because we used to- I we were, that too. We were getting about 50 a, a week, and now we have about 10 because make no mistake- It's our fault. Yeah, it's all our fault. Yeah. So, um, But it's not going to happen anymore. We expect it, things to get better. Yeah. Um, we're really committed to this. We have merchandise coming. Um, which do we have? Do we have that stuff ready yet to go? Like the uh, the actual plugs for it and where these people can actually go. So they can. You can go to onthevolleyapparel.com. On the volley apparel dot com and just put in the search engine history hyenas right right go to their tees men's and it'll have our tees men's there. history hyenas we got uh, cracked open cleaned out uh, that's my favorite shirt with the the, the, yeah. the cocoa mm-hmm. yeah no fumes and uh, the new, the Papa Switch Hazel Papa Switch Papa Hazel Switch. so should we us as the history hyenas do we have to have to just go buy them like everybody else can I'll we, talk to Elvis yeah yeah let's get let, we need because we need them for all, I would like at least some free ones to give to people and promotion well, you're on the road. we need that yeah we need them on the road we need them we should so, buy a, we got to buy a bulk t- of text yeah. Elvis have you texted Elvis yeah I'm gonna text text him it because you know because I feel like you have to do it now because make no mistake I'm German I'm efficient I'm telling you to just fucking get do it right now we're because, on the podcast right now yeah okay sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're. But, well, this you is the thing off. about Germany. You guys don't stop. Yeah. You want to organize everything. Yeah, I'm German. I'm efficient. I'm telling you to to do it right now because or else your fucking Greek brain is just going to float away and you're going to start looking up tranny porn and fucking you know looking at the sky and shit. So we need Elvis. Is he Mexican? He's Mexican. Yeah. So we need Elvis. We need Elvis to fucking start making those t-shirts or, or else I'm going to make some calls. <laughs> <laughs> so. so Elvis, yeah, we'll call him as soon as we get off. Call him as soon as we get yeah. off. So now let's call. Do we got a? Uh, do we have a phone number lined up? Yep. Let's call twenty five dollar member. Um, who is this? We're gonna call. Uh, I think it's Jason Lee, the one you were talking about. Oh, we're gonna call uh, Jason Lee. The only one that wasn't called was not safe over ninety degrees, Jason. Yeah. Uh, that's not safe over ninety degrees, Jason. It's probably him. I guess so. because he's a he's in Eastern Hemi. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's call him up. Let's call him up. Yeah. So I don't know if this kid even got home alive. <laughs> I mean, the kid was banged up. So we're actually calling him now. That yeah. would be oh man, that's great. I'm excited to actually hear about this guy because I heard all about him, and I got a video you sent me of him. Yeah, yeah. Zach, you doing jujitsu now? Jujitsu, Brazilian jujitsu. It's awesome. Yeah. How's rapping going? Good. My song hit a uh, six thousand plays. Chris actually helped me get a lot of plays the first time. Fuck yeah. Thursday, Where out. is it? I'll share it too. How come you didn't send it to me? I'll send you. The link. You might have not answered. No, I didn't get it. I'm sending it right now. Yeah. I put it up. Where did you send it? You texted it or you... I think I texted it, yeah. What's it called so people, are, our fans can find it? Raise the bar. Raise the bar. And his name is not Tattoo Fingers or Isis. <laughs> <laughs> What's your rap name? Hello. 
Hey, what's up? This is Chris Estefano and Giannis Papas. And Venetia. Oh, holy shit. What's up, guys? What's up? How are you doing? Can is this Jason from, yeah. the, from, from San Diego? You can hear him? Mm-hmm. Where? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you oh. hear me? Yeah, we can yeah. hear you, cuz. Did you get home all right? Oh, it's just dandy. It's all yeah. good. Well, thanks for uh, making the, um, the women feel uncomfortable and for f- reigniting Sergio's cocaine habit in San Diego. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, you're a Canadian kid. You're from, a- ca- did you come all the way down to San Diego to see uh, Chrissy Greenlights? 100% be honest. What's up? What's up, dude? I, yeah, I, I got a video of you about 3 in the morning doing blow with Sergio. <laughs> Are you sure it's me or not not another Asian? Well, that's what Chris, he said it was you, but then I realized he just thinks all Eastern Hemis look alike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's not. You know, can't blame him. He's crazy green light. Um, <laughs> did you have a good time with, with, with me and Serge in San Diego? I really, I was saying on the podcast, singing your praises, how much I really appreciate uh, you being a fan. Hey, Sam here, cuz. I, I, I couldn't, I could have asked anything better. It was so sweet. Yeah. yeah and I'm sorry awesome. it's taken six months to finally give you a call. I've just had a situation with the mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, $19,000 MX credit card bill. Yeah. yeah. So, what are, you, what, are you, what are you doing now? Uh, <laughs> People know exactly I'm, how much uh, he, knows, he owes on his credit card. I'm uh, unemployed. You know? Yeah, you're unemployed. Well, you're a consultant, right? All day breakfast. That's right. Yeah. So, that just translates into in your failure in your, in your agent's parents' eyes. It's, <laughs> Hundred percent. That's why you know, uh, for the Patreon, I had to conceal my identity. You know, I probably need to get a corporate job at some point. Now, cause listen, we're almost at the hate bird time limit. I just wanted did you crack anything open and clean something out in San Diego, or did you just did you just eat pizza alone? Not not last weekend. Yeah, yeah. Not, I, just I know we didn't that last night when you know Never. we saw you. Then we went back, and then me and Serge didn't do anything on uh, on Sunday. So. It was sweet, man. I love it. Just, just cruising for guys. It's not yeah, dude, cruising for cock. That's what we did. We appreciate. It. You know, you know me. You, well, you were there. You saw me spin the wheel a little bit, and uh, yeah, it turned out, uh, you know, not good. So, Jason, but, uh, do you, are you spreading the word to your friends up in Calgary about the history hyenas? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. All right, cuz we're gonna call you on uh, next month, but probably, I guess, next year. <laughs> good. You're a good kid. Right, Thank guys. you so much. Yeah, for- thanks. Thanks for giving us um, your money regardless. Yeah, we appreciate it. Love you. He's right. a, I like, he's, he's a, a great kid. kid he's got a good sense of humor. Like, I, 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 I liked having him around in San Diego. For he, a couple, it, for an hour or two. Yeah, and it then, wasn't, yeah. it wasn't a, it wasn't a thing where I was like, get away from me. Right. You know? Yeah. Oh, so he was fun. He was, yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. 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 But, uh, then, but then I think he did Blizzy in the, and then he got a little wild. It's what it is. Yeah. Uh, S-L-O-K-S. But did you hear the part when he quoted exactly how much you owed on your credit card bill? It just made me realize how much of a wild kid you are. Yeah. That on this podcast, people I've know. i said that publicly. You've said that publicly. Yeah. Yeah. People, like, there's people that message me, but, like, I can't believe you just, I can't believe you said that. or the, And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. And they'll be, and then they'll start accusing me. They'll be like, oh, shut up. You know exactly what you say. I'm like, no, but the truth is I don't. You black out. I yeah. just say shit. And uh, people have been like, I can't believe you said that. And I'm like, said what? And yeah. then they'll play me a clip. And I'm like, wow. As a listener, do you feel like he's wild when you listen? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You yeah. are very wild. It's- but like, is it entertaining for you? Oh, I'm on. The, I'm in the streets, like laughing oh, to myself great. and yeah. with my ear head. That's great. Yeah. Good. See, do you wear earbuds or do you wear uh, a b- black kid teenager uh, headphones? Like, hey Bert. <laughs> yeah, like the AirPods. Oh yeah, they. The, I, hey Bert, I looks like he's the making AirPods. a. AirPods. Yeah, 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 I you got do. the AirPods. Yeah. Yeah. All right, who do we got? We're gonna try Nora's cupcakes. Oh, Nora's, Nora's cupcakes. Cup they made the hyena. Didn't they? Met. Oh, they messaged shit. us. They wanted to bring us cakes, and we never responded. These are our girls. Let's call them up. They were one of like our original sponsors. Yeah, well, now, well, they were never our sponsors. Now, if they want to be a sponsor, they're going to have to cough up 400 extra more bucks. They should have got in on the ground floor. <sighs> we love it. It's because, I mean, listen. We're giving them free promo like this. Now we're just giving away. Yeah. Way, we're just giving away a way you can get free promo without joining at 500. <laughs> just join at 25 and we'll have to say your name. <laughs> <laughs> Because we haven't really thought this out. Yeah, well, that's why we need a woman here to organize Hello? this shit. Yeah. Oh, is this Nora's Cupcakes? Yeah, can we just get your real name? Because we're promoting Hello? your business for free. Hello? This is Chris Stefano and Young's Pop. It's the History Hyenas. You're on with the Hyenas. How you doing? We miss you, girls. We need another cake. <laughs> we miss you, too. I love you. When can you come down and bring us another cake? 
We can bring you another cake anytime you want. Yeah, but this time we need a new design. Now, what what do you want for this time? I want it. I just want a cake made out of Mike Mush's face. Yeah, if you could just, oh, that'd be if awesome. you could just make us a cake that's exactly Mike Emoji Face's face, that would be. Yeah. What a cake that's what? Mike Emoji Face. Do you know our new? Do you, do you, have you been listening to the recent episodes, Mike Emoji Face? Uh, yes, emoji face. Yeah, we could probably so, figure that out. Yeah, so Mike I'd emoji face, Mike Suarez, if you could just make a cake with his face and then us throwing that face over a wall, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you could just make if you could just make a cake that's a wall and then just have him face as Humpty Hold Dumpty on. just sitting I'm in a bar. And then just, Hold on. Yeah. I can't hear you. She's in a bar. Oh, you're in a bar? Yeah, Hold she, on. she's a Connecticut girl. I think Nora Cupcakes is in, in Connecticut. God, she's they're getting drinking. a free, they're getting a free promo. <laughs> <laughs> you guys okay. are you guys are screwed so. in kids. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> We love that cake the um, last time. So, but I'm a kid who throws hands okay. now. So you're gonna have to give me a sugar-free cake or something that's keto friendly. Yeah. Or you could just okay. wait. You could just wait for a situation with the mother, and he'll go into a fucking sweets dive. Yeah. Okay, that's probably a better option, and I feel like that would happen relatively often. So we're good. Yeah, we're good for sure. He will. So when do you think he can come down? <laughs> yeah, but just let us know. And we'll bring it down. Emoji face. We got it. Yeah. All right, Moji face and then some cupcakes. So come down any Monday, just message us. And we really, truthfully, you guys are one of our original uh, fans and sponsors. So we really appreciate you guys being a part of our Patreon from the beginning. Thank you. Well, you bring joy into our lives every week. So thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate my. I appreciate it a lot. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm here for a, a good time, not a long time. The situation with the mother is under control, but the hey, minute man. it goes back out of control, I will kill myself. So thank you so much. Yeah, you. The minute it goes back out of control, he will be ordering a big cake from you. Okay, sounds good. All right, love you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Let's go three more. I'm happy you're here, Vinatia. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah. I didn't expect like to be. Once I you saw, guys, like, absolutely, dude. Her yeah. message was so organized, She's well thought and, out, and smart bullet, girl. She was like, "I will help you with this, 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 and this, and this." And now Frank's and Beans are trying to say that they're going to be on it, but we know what's going to happen next week. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be calling Vinatia and be like, "You know what? Yeah. You got to do all this." Yeah. Because Mike gonna, Emoji Face is somewhere with Bobby. Yeah. And Tattoo Fingers is who yeah. the hell knows what yeah. fucking rap dungeon he's yeah, in right it's now. It's going to just get to the point where, like, Ven it's just the podcast. It's me, Giannis, and Venetia. <laughs> it's just <laughs> what's going to happen. She's pressing the Wei Shan Sheehan button. Yeah. She's going to be breathing heavy. She's going to be doing everything. She's going to get <laughs> tattoos on her fingers. Yeah. She's just going to become Zach and Mike. And then that's her new job. And we're going to give her about 300 a week. It's what it is. You know yeah, what the problem is with Franks and Beans here? Is they're both good. They're both good. Good on the cast. That's the thing with so all. So they've gotten arrogant because fucking tattoo fingers. Zach Isis knows. Terrorists he, win. Yeah, he knows yeah. we can't do without him. Yeah, cause I'm just I'm getting a little sweet craving, so I got a peanut butter and jelly raw oatmeal. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I love yeah. how you're just eating in the studio on the cast. Yeah, I don't care because honestly, who's gonna stop me? I'll punch fucking Bobby and, and watch his shorts come down like Mike Tyson's punch on, and I'll throw Noam out the fucking window and make him into a sausage. So it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, just do it, eat it. It just doesn't matter, okay? Yeah. I just got yeah. Go ahead. I don't uh, want to get anything it. on my spin Fars Hill shirt. Yeah, if you wear that shirt one more day in a row, I'm gonna do things to you physically. Yeah, Colin yeah. Bailey Fessler. Oh, Bailey Fessler. Yeah, she makes uh, she makes um. Uh, posters for our show so thank you Bailey well I just got one thing to say to you about vitamins it's not proven that they do anything it could just be placebo cause if you say that one more time I'm gonna hit you with a clean left hook <laughs> who Bailey? we call it? She's Bailey Fezzer she's great she, oh we she's spoke to her yeah. she's made some posters for us how funny it would be if we just had Venetia talk just say hey it's the history hyena no just say just say hey this is Chris and Stefano I got a sex change yeah <laughs> Cause you're a sphinx cat. I'm a sphinx cat. That. Hey, what's up? This is Billy. We're calling no, someone we're calling else. We're the wrong person. Yeah, we're calling I mean, Billy, and we call Billy. Yeah. Cause make no mistake, Mike's finger slipped because he's got some fucking croissant butter on it. It's just what it is. <laughs> Cause yeah, we're gonna keep a little. Uh, that we'll, was the right number, but it gave us Billy. All right. Uh, it well, wasn't we'll, the right we'll number. The he's one. just lying. It wasn't the right number. Mike, Mike's a very smart kid as well. He is Mike a smart make kid. Mistakes. But we're gonna keep a vanity at uh, scoreboard. And every time the boys get a minus one, is she's going to get a plus one. Yeah. It's what it is. That was a minus yeah. one for the boys. We should have to go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys and tell us who do you want Who do you want to keep, who do you want to lose. Yeah, no, yeah, I like yeah. it. Venetia, Mike, or Zach. Yeah. yeah. Uh, One's got to go. We're going to eliminate one every week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See you later, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, uh, that was Billy Heslin. You're right. I called the right number to the wrong person. Yeah. All right. Don't worry. If there's one, one thing. Well, you didn't pick up, so. Yeah. All right. So we're going to call. Let's do one more. Because we're about an hour 20 in. Eric, suck my dick, babe, Bernal. <laughs>
<laughs> Did you like that episode? The uh, suck my dick, babe. Chris, uh, you didn't get to hear it probably because it's not out yet. Yeah, please don't listen to that one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's the Christina Hutchinson from that uh, one's out yeah it's out now guys guys we fuck podcast um, yeah that one has caused a little situation with the mother cause a big and just I play a character on the show that's not really who I am yeah off, so if you'd like to get water <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's it's all a character it's not real he's actually a good Catholic kid when's the last time you got ashes on your forehead Ashes, I haven't gotten in a while, but I, I went to church uh, a couple weekends ago. Can I actually get a real water? You want a water? Yeah, I need would a you water. Like a water? Benetia, you, you want, want a water? water? I, I would like a water. Yeah. Hello? Hey, hello. Who is this? This is Eric. Suck my dick, babe, Bernard. Oh, yeah. Suck my dick, babe. You know who it is. It's fucking Chrissy D and Yanni P. Um, Thank you so much uh, for your service. Can I get a water? Oh, that, that water's for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, What's going hey, yo, on? What are you doing? What are you doing, babe? Just on my day off, babe. Just cracked open and cleaned out a few shorties yesterday. And uh, yeah, I probably nice. got syphilis like you. Nice yeah. little Sunday. You uh, a little, call that Sunday brunch. Call that uh, spin the wheel Sunday. Yeah. Spin the wheel Sunday. And just one, I just got to tell you guys one thing. Yes. Bert, your mom's a two. Yeah. He almost made me spit out my water. <laughs> yeah, he almost made Yanni spit out his water. This kid Yo. might be the, he's starting off as the best phone call we've ever done. Eric, suck my dick, babe, Bernard. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> What's what's your favorite what's episode of the party so far, or favorite moment from the party? I like, every, I like every time that there's a female guest, you're definitely trying to crack them open and clean them out. <laughs> Don't and say that. First, and then how your demeanor just fucking changes, and you do that little "I'm cute, sexy." Yeah, he noticed it too. Kind of you're thing. a fucking piece of and shit I'm, because and I, there's a female guest in the studio right now trying to crack open and clean out. You fucking cock block. <laughs> 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 yeah, he noticed it too, cause you do change a little bit. Well, I, I haven't changed in front of her. No, because you know there's no chance, cause yeah. of the Greek father and the situation with the mother. No, no, no. Oh, who don't notice it? I think. Yeah, Chrissy doesn't notice it. You just, you just, you, your Chrissy go is just what it is. My favorite fucking episode is Nero, though. That shit is that's one of my Nero, favorite right? of all yeah. time. I listen to it twice a day. Yeah. Wow. You're yeah, the, he was a wild kid, Nero. Yeah. Now, uh, you may have the funniest name of all time. Suck my dick, babe. Yeah, suck my dick, babe. Yeah, have you tried? Eric, suck my dick, babe, for an off. Have you tried that on a on a toot yet? Suck my dick, babe. I I actually sent you guys. Oh, that was uh, you. A DM that I sent that I, I told the girl, hey, I can't wait to crack you open and clean you out. And she goes, I love it when you say talk shit like that. That and was she you. Has no clue, I stole that shit. Yeah, that was that. I yeah, remember take that. it, man. Yeah. I mean, if you're a Patreon member. That's what you're paying for. You can take all our lines and and pass off hey, as right. your own. No problem. Yeah. Just, uh, just. Oh yeah, yeah. The legal. whole, the whole. I hate insecure men. Used it last week. Fucking worked like a charm. Listen, babe. We've reached the hate bird time limit, so we just want to say thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your service, <laughs> and uh, we're, we're gonna call you in another month. So you know what that means? That means about four or five months. But you will get a call eventually. <laughs> no, now we're organized. Oh, so no, yeah. thank you. We're organized now. We have a new woman on the show. Her name's Venetia. Ven uh, Venetia. Her name's Venetia, and one day she can be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you got a problem with the mother. You got I, do have a, I got a mother. situation with the mother, and it's it, yeah. But that's for another episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll see you in Phoenix, Chris and oh. Giannis. Let me know when you're in Phoenix. Man. Abs absolutely, Fuck brother. Yeah. Thank you. Keep Let's spreading the word. Make more hyenas. Tell your friends. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cause he was the he was the best phone call. We're ending on him. Yeah. We're not doing any more phone calls. Go to patreoncom slash Bay Ridge Boys. Um, GiannisPapas.net. Is the site up yet? Site's not up yet. Site's still not up and running. Giannis has got a problem. I got a situation with. Uh, I got a situation. Giannis got a situation with the Korea. I got a situation with the Korea right Giannis now. Giannis got a situation with the Korea. So I got you, a little situation with the Korea. I'll, I'll have it up soon. Just go to my Twitter. Yeah, you can go to ChristyComedy.com for all my show dates. I got a lot of dates coming up. I got um, Ohio. I got Costa Fest in San Francisco, London, Soho Theater. You guys can meet Vidura Raj Pasca. Um, then I got shows at the Stand in uh, Newcastle, England, and then uh, Zany's Nashville and Jimmy Kimmel's. Comedy Club in Las Vegas, all in June and July. ChristyComedy.com for tickets. You guys got to come out and see my shows and support me because the rent has went up. The uh, child support has went up. I got a situation with the mother. Yeah, I'll be in the Miami Improv June 14th and 15th, so check that out. Yeah, it's what it is. Sergio Which Chicago Sergio will be, be there. Yeah. Yeah, Blizzy. Um, so thank you so much. V, thank you for being for your first episode. Did you have a good time with I us? I did. Thank you so much for, you know, Absolutely. having me. Thank you. Appreciate I'm excited it. excited about, you know, yeah. the changes, the organization. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and free winter. I'd love to get a water. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're excited to have you on. It's going to definitely keep Frank and Beans on their toes. Yeah, Frank and Beans are on their toes. Thank you, Mike, uh, for not falling asleep. And thank you, Zach, for um, getting the uh, the sound effects half an hour into the episode. 
<laughs> How long? 